So Gary, you've been in the program for about eight weeks now. I'd love to hear from you. When did you decide, when did you hear about the program? When did you decide that it'd be right for you or you wanted to take a closer look at it? Well, I got one of your emails about arranging a breakthrough session and I was hoping there'd be some kind of coaching program at the end of that. And to be honest, I've made the decision to join it before we even had the breakthrough session because I knew it was going to be good. And it was just the right kind of thing for me, and that turned out to be true. Awesome. Where? So, what was that about eight weeks ago, wasn't it? Something like that, yes. Yeah. And I've I've seen your business evolve, you know, over the last eighteen months or so. It's been really pleasing to watch you have, um, you know, invested in a, a couple of our other programs, and and you've really taken some really some great strides, you know, over the last eighteen months, and have turned what was like a bit of a hobby into a serious business. Um, but what? Where were you at? You know, eight weeks ago before joining. Where Where were you at personally? Where was your business at? Okay. Well, I was wanting to move forward, but didn't particularly know in which direction to head, and was way too busy. And it, I just gradually became aware that I was like a, an overpaid admin assistant. And you know, it got to something like Thursday or Friday before I was able to sit down and plan, if at all, because I was just chasing my tail and trying to keep up. So the idea of virtual stuff, and it, it's something that wasn't new to me, but as soon as it was introduced into the program, that was fantastic. It, uh, it was a bit weird at first. I had no idea how to start, but you showed me and you led me through it. And strange, I don't know how long I think I've had my assistant, five weeks now and various other uh, short term and temporary stuff. And today I just appointed an assistant for my assistant, which sounds a bit <laughs> weird. But it work really well. So you're, you're talking about one aspect of the program. I think it's week week two is where we, we really yeah, dive yeah. deep into building out that remote team, which is going to help you scale your business more quickly. So and that that's one area that you've really excelled in. You've you've um, so how does your business look now compared to the way it looked, you know, let's say, eight weeks ago? Looking good. Well, if it's any kind of yardstick, around a week ago I suddenly took ill, absolutely fine now, uh, but. I kept trying to drag myself to the computer and I really couldn't do anything. But you know, at the end of the week, reflecting on that, my business didn't really suffer for it. The day-to-day -day admin was taken care of and I didn't ha even have to prompt the assistant. Uh, in fact, she took the initiative. I told her I wasn't very well and she said, don't worry, leave it with me. And she did it. Yeah. yeah. That was great. So that's that bit. I mean. If, if all I got from the program was that, then it's been worth it. But it's already taken me from being a self-employed person, you know, like creating a job for myself, to then mapping out the whole organization chart and starting to look, right, okay, there's another area I can delegate, there's another area. And what I am now, very definitely, is a company owner, a company director. And I've actually realized I've got it automated to the point where if I didn't want to work, I wouldn't have to. But somebody has to drive things forward and come up with all the visions and the plans for the future, and that is where I am now. I'm planning product uh, design and content creation up to a point, and much happier for it, awesome. and ready to move on. Yeah, so you've been able to work out really quickly, just in the space of a few weeks, where your biggest impact on your business is going to be. You've been able to, I, I guess, get everything else off your plate, get it done better, faster, get it done cheaper. Um, so, yeah. so you can you can really focus in on the areas that are going to be you know driving your serious revenue. Because you, even in the last few weeks, you've done a few um, really good. Like you, for for those listening, Gary runs it's kind of an online business to, to complement his um, in person sort of physical experiences. So uh, he's you've got a, a a bit of a multi pronged approach to um, to revenue. But so you've been able to really like dial in your online program online course launches and you've done some really good sized launches which you've only been able to do i'm guessing because you've been able to free yourself up so you can actually yeah. focus in on the stuff that's making you money yeah thing is the online stuff just started as an attempt to pivot during COVID lockdowns to save the business and the business has gone beyond surviving very quickly to thriving more than ever before i think you did comment that business-wise, COVID could be the best thing that ever happened to me, and I think you're right, because it forced me to reconsider what I was doing, and I realized I was wasting time. I was going out and working three or four nights a week delivering face-to-face -face programs, which I didn't need to do.
Yeah. And now the mantra is, based on how we've discussed things, that if I can find someone who is as good or better than me, I'll hire them immediately. I am, I'm actively looking now for people who are better than me at what I do. And there was a time when, of course, like a lot of owner operators, I thought, well, there'll be nobody who can ever do what I do. I'm tied to the business, but I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I am completely dispensable and yeah. want to work on making that even more so yeah. to the point where if I want to sell it, I can. Yeah. But I don't have to sell it. It's just nice to be in a position where everything's so well organized and running like a well-oiled machine that it could be sold. Exactly. And, and that's, that, 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 that's, that's the next the next step, I guess, we'll tackle that in a, in a few weeks or in a couple of months, depending on you, you know the level of urgency for you to get to that point. What, um, uh, what about other features of the program? You talked about some of the things that we discussed. Um, you know, you're pretty active in our Facebook community and you're pretty active on our weekly uh, group coaching calls. How are you liking those? Great. Yeah, it's been nice to have that to look forward to every week. Uh, even when I didn't have any specific questions, just somewhere to touch base with you and with the other people in the course. And I'm enjoying collaborating with fellow students as well. As you know, uh, a lot of my virtual stuffing started because somebody else on the course found someone who wanted to work full time but couldn't give her full time hours. And now between us, we're given her full time hours, as I mentioned before, to the point where she's she has to have stuff. Uh, but that's good. It's nice to be able to collaborate like that. Well, that's great. Really, really uh, wonderful to hear how you've been progressing, to see firsthand how you've been progressing in just a really short period of time. And um, I know I'm really looking forward to seeing what the next, you know, four to eight weeks has in store for you. So you can just go from, from strength to strength. You can get more enjoyment out of it. Your business can get more scalable. Um, obviously, it's going to give you the time to focus on generating more revenue, getting some really, really great results, you know, over the last few weeks as well. So. It's um, yeah, it's been been great to see, and um, yeah, look forward to uh, continue to work with you in the program, mate. Definitely, yeah, I can't wait to see where it goes from here. Me neither. Uh, based on how it's gone so far. Yeah, wonderful. Good on you, mate. Thanks, Gary. Thanks, Josh.